all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Fuck in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Anique G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, somebody told me to react to this video, Chicken Wings and Hot Sauce Mukbang with Tay and Lou. I told y'all everybody's asking me to react to these videos, so I'm going to go back. Let's get into it. I don't even know if I'm recording this for no reason or not, because if things don't go well... You guys will never see this footage, to be honest. But, um, long story short, today has been a really bad day for Lou and myself. Basically, we were going to do a mukbang early this morning. And in doing the mukbang, we were talking and getting ready and doing our usual use, nothing out of the ordinary. But during that conversation, um, some information came up that basically concluded to me that Lou had been lying to me about something important to both of us. I ain't gonna lie. I thought me and TT told everything about our relationship on the internet, but <laughs> they beat us to it. I ain't even gonna lie. In our Cause relationship. Because we don't. We just tell y'all when it get real bad. So it's like, all right. Lou uh, had been lying. We don't have our hands on this. About <laughs> said thing, which I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna mention because eh, it's, it's so much that goes into that. But because Lou had been lying about what she had been lying about, I'm not going to lie, I had a very weird reaction to it, and I pretty much just left the house. Once she basically admitted that she had been lying about said thing. I like mukbang too, not mukbang. I, I hate that. And this started, I would say, around 9-ish in the morning. So this is like, one, the first time there's been like a huge lie in our relationship, and two... The longest we've ever gone without truly speaking, unless we're not in the same household for the day. So, yeah, this has been a really hard day. I've been avoiding home like the plague. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are wondering what the hell did she lie about? The reason why I don't want to tell you guys what she lied about is because, number one, she clearly lied to me for a reason. <laughs> so I'm sure she doesn't want to let you guys know um the information either but what i can tell you is it has nothing to do with cheating no lou was not here sucking any it's nothing like that it's just something that was important to us to her and i doesn't involve other people it doesn't i don't know i don't know how to tell you guys without telling you so i'm not but the point is she lied facts renegade so <laughs> she basically renegade said these these youtube couples <clears throat> will argue and post a video about it 30 minutes later. <laughs> texted me about 20 minutes ago and told me that she had made some chicken, which she knows I love. So I, I see she being slick already. But um, that she made some chicken and that she really wants to talk about what had happened between us. I don't know how I feel about everything right now. Um... I definitely know I need to go talk to her because at the end of the day, me walking out on the conversation was not appropriate either. Her lying, not appropriate. Me walking out. Leave it on the playground. <laughs> childish on top of childish. And that's not what I'm really trying to have in my relationship. Not based on the bond her and I have established. So I am going to go talk to her. If you guys see this, that means that perhaps the talk went okay and we're ready to talk about it on camera. If you guys don't see this, then I don't even know what I'm saying that because you guys just won't see this. But um, I'm hoping that you guys do see this. This I'm video is about Lou Lyon. She can about something. talk to me about why she felt the need to lie. Um, I'm hoping that... I wouldn't have put this... I wouldn't have made no video about this. That, I don't know. I'm hoping we could work through this because I don't know. I You know when somebody lies to you that never really lied to you before? Like we've lied to each other like little white lies, but we've never lied to each other before. I don't know. I guess we're gonna go see. Um, dang, gang, it's Tay and Lou. That chicken look good than a bitch. It's Tay and Lou. What up, dang, dang, gang, gang, dang, uh, gang, 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 gang. So y'all, I was very transparent about what's going on between us today. This is a very different video for us both. 
we give transparency, but not like this. Yeah, it's kind of soon. Yeah, it's kind of soon. We did to to give full disclosure. We did talk about it a little bit before we decided to get onto camera. Obviously, that's the healthy thing to do. Yeah. Y'all can't be exposed to everything. However, we did think it would be a great conversation between us and other couples um, to figure out what's going on and why you felt the need to lie to me. This is still a raw subject for both of us. So excuse me if I come across as a little perturbed. Perturbed. As you should be. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to brush it off though. So that damn Lou know how to take some accountability. Yeah. What did what did you um what did we eat? See this is messed yeah. up. <laughs> Y'all, please give this video a big like because we are struggling. We are struggling, and that like will put a smile on our face today. Okay, uh, what are we eating, baby girl? You still my baby girl, even though you be lying. Oh. fried chicken. I made it especially for us with you in mind. I appreciate that. that I think this was a really good, good gesture. Thank you. Well, not thank you, but you you deserve it. I'm eating by fried chicken. Then we gonna talk about this. I'm not even really hungry. I'm not gonna front, but I did want to see you. Cause I haven't seen y'all did. Had you not eaten, I really would have just. I still gotta eat something. Who eats chicken without? I, I want to make clear. I very much uh, still want you. I very much still still want to be with you. I'm just very disappointed in you right now. That's all. But we gotta talk about this. Damn like, that chicken. <clears throat> hearing you say you're disappointed is like the bane of my existence. Like I'd rather you say you're mad or angry, but disappointed really messes messes me up. That's the chicken again. Okay. <laughs> Still got some selling points there, okay? Still look good. That's your problem. It looked too damn good. Now I'm stuck. That's why I cooked fried chicken and made myself real pretty, y'all. <laughs> what? That's what? There won't be no bonnet when she come back home. <laughs> so, um, get this show on the road, because I, want some I really want to spend some alone time with you. Ooh, <laughs> she got I hot sauce in, in my belly button. In her belly button. <laughs> oh, I'm just in bed. I'm sorry. To get this show on the road, because I do want to. I mean, it's nice and crunchy. At this point, I need chicken. Move forward with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the day. We spent a lot of time apart. Uh -huh. yeah. So, I'm reading a comment in my comment section for everybody to start coming for me. Something about Tate isn't sitting right with me could be the lack of accountability. So that's all I've been talking about. But everybody mad as hell about that shit. What I love about Lou, although Lou is a very flawed woman, she is very flawed. She has a lot. And I mean, we all do, though. But sis, sis calling them out. Like, hell yeah, I'm abusive, nigga. Like, don't come, don't walk across my line. This is how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am, um, damn, Trey. Hold on, y'all. Yo, it's like it's easier to deal with a person when they take accountability, but Lou is flawed and all, and she'll tell you about her flaws. She announced them motherfuckers. She is okay with it. But yeah, my bad, y'all. Them niggas stupid. Why did you think you had to lie about what you lied about? I'm away. Oh, I'm away. <clears throat> I got the guava goddess synergy, by the way. It's delicious. It's one it's, of the first few. It's <laughs> crazy because even as an adult, I'm sitting here going back and forth with lies to even explain myself. And that's how I got myself here. I was ashamed. I was completely ashamed. And I don't ashamed. even know how she be lying when she, why she lied that day when she could take accountability. Maybe she couldn't, maybe she can't take accountability off camera. I don't know. Um, you know, every part of me, excuse me, but. So, Maybe when she's confronted with something, that's when she cool with just coming out, telling whatever. Some parts are shameful, and I don't, I'm not, sometimes I'm not ready to face them head on. Um, and if you are aware of it, I have to deal with it and face it head on, and it's always successful, but sometimes I'm not ready to deal with my problems. Ah, uh, okay, I understand. Give me a piece Is there of anything about chicken. me that makes you feel like you can't communicate with me? Huh. Yeah. Literally, no. You set the cap. main stage for peace and for clear communication. It's my inner insecurities. 
that make me ashamed. I can't even really look at them right now. <laughs> That's so weird. It's my inner insecurities that make me ashamed. Thus, I lied about something. What the fuck is going on? So if you experience these, and I'm sorry to put you in the hot seat, because I know this is hard for you, and I appreciate you doing this. I love you. I love you. If you experience something again in which you feel hesitation to talk to me, how will I know that you're going to be honest with me instead of keeping me in the dark? I ain't going to lie. If, if you in a friendship or a relationship and you can't tell a person the truth, you don't need to be friends or in a relationship with that person. You cannot tell the truth to like real shit. Like money bag. Yo said it today, but I, I've been, I, I feel that shit. Like if I can't tell you the truth or if I can't correct you, if you can't correct me, if we can't get each other together, we don't need to be cool. Cause something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think you'll know right now. I said that when we were talking. Off That's camera. Trey and Nene, y'all. Right now, but I'm just hoping you trust not me. Not our mind, that Trey. I have your heart. We not friends. Be careful with it. And, and not do that again. I underestimated you. I underestimated your reaction. I under I didn't underestimate the situation, but I did a bad thing. And I'm sincerely apologetic for it. But going forward, I don't, you can't, you won't know if I'm lying or not. However, I'm confident that over time, you'll be able to know through my actions that I'm not lying and that I'm being truthful 100%. Because honestly, I really don't want to start this in our relationship. Like, listen, I have been in enough relationship to know what I don't like. And I also know the part I played in this wasn't great either. Because even though... It was discovered that you were lying. You still were willing to talk about it. You still, well, you were apologetic about it, but I was not trying to hear none of that. I've never left you, like, dead in the middle of a conversation. I think that's a very immature thing to do. It's very new for you to do. That yeah, was accountability. Like people that do that, I think that you should handle problems head on. So I was almost confused at myself for feeling that way, but I really didn't know how to process the information I was receiving in the moment. I understand. I don't want to feel like anybody could tell me anything about you. I'm not sure. I, yeah, like, thank, thank, thank. This is this is a little bit be honest, but do you think it's okay? Do, okay, let me ask you first, cause not say forget y'all, but I need to ask her first. Damn. Well, as a matter of fact, I need to say boy. something first. <laughs> I think it's okay to have certain secrets from me. Don't get me wrong, but my problem with secrets is. When it starts to affect the other person, like if it's a secret that just affects you and you're not re willing to spill it yet, that's okay. But when it starts to affect other people, you got to let people know. Because it's just like, <laughs> if it just just affected you, I would still be upset that you felt like you couldn't say something to me. But it would be another level versus something that, you know, we both... I absolutely agree with that. If it's going to affect both of us, tell me what the fuck going try on. Try to establish together. Absolutely. And we thought it was going this way, but, but on, on the low skis, it's not going that way for you. I hear you. And I agree. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I know this is very awkward. Like, honestly, it's really. <laughs> um, I agree. I agree with everything you said since since the lie has come up. Everything. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how to handle this moving forward. I don't know. I don't want to become the person that's like, are you telling the truth? Like, for real? I don't want to have to fact check what you're saying to me. That piece of skin. <laughs> Take out. Let me borrow I trust you. And the thing about it is, I'm about to, Yo, the chicken. Listen. I don't think it's naive of me to trust you because. I'm about to start reacting to mukbang content because, baby. Overall, <laughs> this is not a usual thing for you. Yes. But once again, I ain't gonna lie, she is dragging it. I was gonna say that, but I was trying to wait for somebody else to say it. She definitely dragging it. I just can't fathom why you just couldn't tell me. Like, you could have just told me. Like, we could have been, we, this could have been done. Like, we could have been. Telling you comes action. Me yes. too, Kia. 
Girl, do you not know after this video, I am debating on going to the grocery store to get some oil and some damn chicken ways to put some motherfucking chicken up in some grease. <laughs> like, that chicken sounds so good right now. And that's that's the problem. <laughs> like, that's another I thing. need some chicken. <laughs> you have to make me privy to it because you know we have to handle stuff ahead exactly. of time. If you can't I tell be babe something, I'd be ready to handle it right then and there and... And honestly, I'm not ready. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I could change that about myself in the sense of, I don't want to force you to manage things when you're not ready to manage them. I don't want to force you to manage things when you're not ready to manage them. But in the same breath, I don't want you to leave me in the dark because you are so hesitant to deal with it in that moment. There has to be some sort of compromise. You just let me know and then I can work with you to not be so like let's get it fixed or anything like that. Like I can't. I hate this video. Yeah. I wish she would have said why she didn't want to tell her the truth. Cause then that would have been a different thing. Like TT be like, baby, I ain't wanna tell you the truth because I ain't feel like dealing with your reaction. <laughs> I ain't feel like dealing with your reaction. So <laughs> I didn't tell you the truth. Like, can you blame a person for that? Like, if you an impulse reactor, I used to be real bad. I'm very calm now. But I used to be so, like, such an impulse reactor. I absolutely would understand why she wouldn't want to tell me certain things back in the days. And if she were to lie about it, I would be like, I'm that bad. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> I would be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, this is not I hate one this of my feeling. Favorites. Yeah, I hate this day. I hate feeling like I need chicken. There's a new facet of our relationship that's never been there. I hate feeling like Lucy we're telling her comes action. We have something to overcome, mm. even though we're gonna have a lot of things to overcome in our relationship. But I just don't want this to be a part of our relationship. Come action as she's trying to solve 1333 in the chat. As if she's trying to like solve some shit or like fix some shit. When you say it comes with action, I'm confused on that. Obviously, I know that's what she said, but I'm just saying, what what did it mean to enough you? Enough line in my lifetime. Now, Royce, enough stop saying in my you lifetime. need chicken because it's making true. me want chicken more. I don't like, want to do that. I need chicken. And right now, would you? I've never had that energy with you. You already know I've been through that as well. I've never had a lying energy with you, and unfortunately, <laughs> obviously, I was so shameful of this thing she that um, deal with whatever with I wasn't ready to handle it with. at all. Handle it truthfully, because I've given illusions that mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. I'm not ready. <laughs> I respect that, and I just want to let you know there's really nothing you could tell me. That would ever straight up make me leave you, except if you was like cheating on me. <laughs> That's out of the window. Yeah. Or if you just straight up fell out of love with me. But besides that, I think we can pretty much work on everything. I just need you to be upfront. Just like I want to be upfront with you at all times. I never, ever want to feel like there's any secrets. And if there's a secret that you're not ready to tell me, tell me. And it just doesn't. <laughs> I'm going to say, what do I do? No, if there's a secret that you're not willing to tell me, as long as it doesn't affect me, I'm here. I'm ready to support you whenever it does. But unfortunately, the sacrifice of being in a relationship is there are some things that you can't keep to yourself. And that was one of the things that you can't keep to yourself. And um, on my end, I won't, I don't want to be the walkout type person. I don't want to be the, I don't want to be that person. I don't. Yeah, me and TT had to stop the walkout thing. We both was doing that. I don't, mm -mm. don't want to play the games with you. Like yeah, I like to bring up my shit in, in these type videos because I want y'all to understand, I'm not watching this video because I never did it before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't ever want y'all to think I'm perfect because some shit happened. And y'all like, uh-uh, Neek said, no, 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 that's not what we doing. <laughs> we ain't doing that. I done been through some shit, bitch. And, you know, I got a girlfriend. We human. We go through shit. Hell, I ain't even finna play with y'all like that. Like, I don't... That's the one thing that we haven't had in our relationship is games. We've said that. a lot of harsh things to each other. Games. Yeah, we, 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 in fact, we've honestly been too truthful in our relationship half the time. Yeah. So to experience this is like the exact opposite. 
of what we know. But um, I'm very proud of you for coming forth because even when you did come forth, I, yeah. I was yeah. You know, when she asked me, my normal thing, but I've never been I've never been in love like this. My normal way was to be to flee and lie. But I knew that there was no lying about this, so I just had to be honest. Um, I apologize for putting you in that position, and I'm very sorry. I love you. I love you more. We gonna work through this. Okay. I might sleep on the couch though. I mean, you've been gone all day. I wouldn't be surprised. It's like no, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. Me and TT, we we never really brought everything to the internet. Like we've told y'all a lot of shit though, but every single thing. Nah, that's way too like, like we wouldn't have nothing left for ourselves if we did that shit. Ah, oh, I was just uh, <laughs> everything just really don't don't needed. say it here. No, I, I I um I needed that time. I should have said I needed that time and not did it the way I did, but I did need that time to really process the information so I didn't have a reaction that I, that was inappropriate for what was happening. I just, I was, it was more about the principle of you lying than the actual lie. I don't want you to feel like you have to lie to me because then that can translate to other parts of our relationship. I felt that even when it all came out, even when it was happening, I felt that you were more upset that the fact that I lied about it, not the subject matter. And honestly, I was stressing about the subject matter yeah, I was I was stressing way more about the principle of not, not uh, yeah, not understanding why you don't think you come to me with anything. It's but I get I get like it based you. on you know what I'm saying I get it based on what the content was. I get how you are. I know you very well, but it's still not an excuse. It's not an excuse, and I don't want to make an excuse for it. I don't want to justify it. I just want to move forward and just not do that again. I agree, y'all. I. Pray for us, cause this is a weird night. Uh, I wanna, good. Yeah, I wanna Netflix and chill with you, Hulu and feel with you, Disney Plus and, and Sudge with you. No, that don't rhyme. Plus, See, plus you're no, up. okay. We love you guys. Love you guys. And sorry about the weird video, but it's important for us to show you that it's not always gonna be like it truly is. I wonder has um. Tay just came to the internet and said whatever whatever she just fucked up on. Do y'all have a video of that? Um, put it down in the comments for me, y'all. If it's a video of her just kind of like genuinely taking accountability. I need one of those videos. You did. It's not always greedy. But that's not with any couple, you guys. Let yeah. it be YouTube or real life. You go through things. I'm sure you guys know that, but again... What we show you guys is the truth. So, peace. Mm. Yeah, let me know if y'all have a video like that. Um, I always like to, like, if we if we going to talk about something that me and my woman I went through, at least I got to say what I've done, too. Like, I've done that before or something. But, um, yeah, in this video, I mean, shit, they, they decided to tell whatever happened. And um, that's how they was feeling about it. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But we done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.